Hey everyone, Blast out here, just with a really quick uh, devlog update for my next uh, project, um, Midsummer Night Fight as I'm calling it. It is a prototype combat system, a very rough prototype combat system that I've been working on, uh, and this is kind of the very early stages of its development, just kind of setting up some things up initially. Um, the project would be, as I said, combat si a turn-based combat system for what could be used in an expanded project. Um, Basically, the goal is to create a turn-based action RPG combat system that feels very punchy, very over-the-top, very uh, colorful, wild, rowdy. Uh, those are the kind of adjectives and words that I can use to uh, describe the kind of feel that we're going for. Obviously, the visuals, we're not really going to be focusing on that for the prototype at all, even at the end of the project. Um, this is going to co solely focus on the design aspect of what an expanded version on the on the base version of this combat system um so really this is a very early uh setup we have a magic and hp bar up there you can move around your character and that drains out your little action bar there when that goes to the uh gets to zero we'll be switching over to the en enemy's turn uh you can lock on to said enemies uh, using all these temp sprites and then you can uh, change your target uh, based on where you're looking, of course. Um, and then, other than that, right now, you, the camera moves it with the player, uh, so you're kind of almost always facing forward. You can lock on. And then when you pull up the battle menu, uh, the rest of the game is now officially paused. You will not be um, see. You cannot move. Uh, no other objects will be interacted with. It's going to quickly restart. Uh, right now, a lot of the stuff that's been happening is we've been focusing specifically on setup. So right now we have the move setup, which I'll show in the battle menu here. Uh, you have magic, skill, items, and end your turn immediately, of which the magic brings up the magic bar, which reads in the current moves, magic, spells as one could say, that are attached to the player character. So if I were to change the name of uh, the player's move here from Aura Blast or blast max uh, that will be reflected in there'll be a reflected change in here so as you can see it does uh, indeed change it so it's reading in these moves and then that will of course be changed from uh, player character to player character as time goes on um, same thing goes with those enemy scripts and damage values and everything like that the point is to make it very modular very expandable and then I'll just kind of show off uh, one of the, m the move here. Um, you fire off a little ball, it hits, and then it applies knockback. And that's kind of the big point, is that it's supposed to be a very knockback-focused combat system. The enemy did take damage, we just don't have health bars set up yet. And um, I'll just kind of show off one more time. If I use that move, and then I pause, or pull up the battle menu, I can still... I don't have the enough resources now to activate it again, but um, the move has been stopped, and you can still move the camera around, you can still lock onto enemies, and uh, you can pull it down, and then bam, it gets hit, and go like that. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of a very rough start of what we're working on. The goal is that we're going to start editing in some basic attacks and some other things that wouldn't really be a part of the battle menu soon after we kind of set up some of the other enemy HP bars and things like that. And yeah, that's really all I have today. I just kind of wanted to give a quick progress update and I will see you guys later.